Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And this is part two of putting text or object to pass on an oval. I started thinking about it. Why can't we do a circle like I've done in videos before and then oval the circle? So I, I got them kind of where I want them. I could actually back up here and, and uh, get the one and let's add one more to it. See what happens, make it 21. Hit apply. Work pretty good. Let me get this one out of the way. Don't need it anymore. And so you've got this top one that you used. And let's zoom in here and let's make it contour to this shape. You know, first of all, I selected all the nodes. I only need to select that node. Sometimes Corel does that, make it disappear. And let's put these nodes on the line. Now, on this longer one, it's going to be uh, somewhat of a curve here, but we can change that curve. Remember, we turn these to a line so we can turn them to a curve. Well, we need to select both these. Right-click, turn them to a curve. Then we could take that line and do that with it. Now all we need to do is, it's kind of trial by error, because if you extend this one out, it's going to wrap around further than it was earlier. So you just kind of kind of play by ear with it. And now let's take this one and let's put it out of the way and let's actually turn it upside down like we did in the previous video. Let's take our circle, and now let's delete all these other ones. Put our circle back. Pick our graphic first, or our pattern, and then hit the shift key to select our path. And I said earlier, uh, well, I'll just have to show you. Now it's putting it right on the line. Earlier when I was doing the video, it was putting it like midline. So that's your object origin. So if you put it at the top, it's gonna put it at the top of the path. And by chance, that looks pretty good. Now we've still got a few little hiccups, but we can maybe change them. We can still do this right here and, and reverse the process again. Let's reverse that, take our, and I'm not gonna take a lot of your time to do all this, but you get the idea, so shift, select both of them, and hit apply, and that's pretty close. It's still off a little bit, but we could fix that, but we're not going to for the video. Now we're gonna take all this and weld it. Now we have those hiccups, but you could get a buy with that, and I've got several videos on how to do that. You know, there's one reason, one way right there, just go around and delete those two nodes because really it's the inner part of the path that's kind of curved that's gonna look the best. So let's just do it real quick. So I did this on a circle, and now we're gonna make this circle an oval. So without taking any more time, this is 16, so with my ratio unlocked, I'm gonna change this to 13. Let's go 12, make it a little bit more. And now I've created an oval and it looks pretty good. I mean, once you fix these hiccups, now, you know, it's, it stretched these out a little bit more, but uh, it, it still looks good. And then we'll take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in, make it black so you can see it better on the video. So it's not perfect, but it's a quicker way to do it. And I hope that answered his question, and thank you for watching.